Hello guys, new day, new YouTube video. In today's video, we will discuss everything we need. I believe you guys need to know about the MLB The Show 22, when it's coming out, who is the cover athlete, which edition to choose, if you want to pre-order or not, which console to choose, and what to expect from the new game, and will there be any difference between 21 and MLB The Show 22. Okay, let's jump into the video and try and get everything we need to know in less than four, four minutes. Hello guys, uh, so the main thing what we need to know is who is the cover athlete and not that it's a big surprise, it's Shoya Itani. Itani oh, crushes it to deep right field, good bye. This guy had an incredible season and I believe we will only see the best out of him going forward. So yes, he's the cover athlete on the standard edition and MVP edition, as you can see on the screen, I think this is the best cover art we ever seen for any sport game. Absolutely incredible. I will show you. Let's have a quick look on some of the teasers they released. I think this is absolutely incredible. I don't actually remember us seeing anything so good for any sport games. This is the best, in my opinion. I believe not only my opinion, the best sport game trailer. How? good they actually included the culture skills and everything it's just something incredible i was like what the hell is going on I what one of the big things about the game as well is we will have a cross platform cross save and cross progression so it means if you own all three consoles it means you can at home you can play from playstation 5 or playstation 4 when you visit your parents or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, you can play it on Xbox. And when you just have a lot of free time before bed, you can actually grind it offline and online stuff on Nintendo Switch. How cool is that? Digital Deluxe Edition, MVP Edition, Standard Edition. There's just too many editions. My suggestion would be, uh, I personally think I will buy the, PlayStation, the game on PlayStation 5. I will probably get it on X, uh, Nintendo Switch just because of offline stuff. I'm not very confident about how the servers will cope with the crossplay. If you only want to play with the Nintendo Switch, I would not be scared about. But if you actually want to play with your mates on PlayStation 5 or Xbox, I don't think then Switch would be the right, cho right thing. Obviously, don't take me wrong, I don't know, maybe this year... San Diego Studio would do a massive improvement on the servers, which I doubt, but you never know, they may surprise us. Uh, also, if you're new to the game and you never ever tried MLB before, I would suggest don't pre-order it. If you are on Xbox, it will come to the Game Pass again. How good is this? Like, can every single sports game do that? This is just incredible. So yes, uh, MLB is coming back to the Game Pass this year. If you're new to the game, I would suggest maybe don't pre-order it just play on april 4th try it out if it's your game i will release a lot of videos about the best settings for the new for the beginners how to do the conquest what you need to know about the offline grind because i'm the person who i think grinds offline 24 7 and i think that's probably it but if you enjoy the video please help me out press that like maybe subscribe there will be quite a lot of uh, mlb content coming out uh, as soon as the game will be out you can still practice and get MLB 21 on the Game Pass or just buy it from the market just to get your terms ready for the new game. I hope you enjoyed and have a good one.